to the White House runs through Michigan tonight. Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney made three stops in the state, Holland, Frankenmuth, and DeWitt on his Every City Counts bus tour. Our Stephen Clark caught up with Romney and his wife during a stop in DeWitt where they talked about his campaign promises for Michigan. You know, Mitt Romney has gotten a bit of a reputation on the campaign trail of being a little stiff. So the campaign has rolled out a secret weapon. And today, I sat down to talk one-on-one -on -one with Mitt Romney and his wife, Ann Romney. They say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. But on this 90-degree day, Mitt Romney and his wife, Ann, headed straight to the kitchen of the Sweetie-licious Bakery and Cafe to try their hand at baking. Later, they sat down with me to talk about the campaign. It's great to be with him. We're enjoying being uh, in Michigan together. Of course, both of us have Michigan roots. We were both born here, raised here. Uh, fathers, uh, you know, really sort of cut their own paths here in Michigan and achieved their dreams here. So for us, Michigan's huge and important, and it's just wonderful to be, to be together. Mitt Romney's been criticized for being a bit robotic on the campaign trail. Ann Romney, no doubt, adds some heart. And now, what we're worried about is the legacy we're leaving our children. And I think that's what brings a lot of you out here today. Romney talks to me about his father, Michigan Governor George Romney, who fell short of the Republican nomination in 1968. He says he hopes voters here remember his parents, not as Republicans or Democrats, but as great Michiganders. So when we see you come back to Michigan a lot, if you happen to take residence in Washington? You know, I love, <laughs> we love this state, and we, we care very deeply about its future because we're invested emotionally here. And so for us, of course, we'll be coming back. By the way, Romney says as president, he'll make it his mission to keep the Great Lakes clean and free of Asian carp. After all, he's got a special interest. He has a cottage on the lakes. Into it, Stephen Clark, Action News.